I'm Matt and this is my hydrojetting uh, video. So here's the power washer outside. It's gas. So you need it outside, not in the basement. Uh, we're going to hydrojet a sewer line today. So I bought two of these 100 foot lines. One to go from the power washer to the trigger inside the house. And then the other one's to go in the sewer line. This is our water supply. You hook up to the water spigot on the side of the house. Go in the basement here. So that hose from outside comes to this trigger right here. It's just the regular uh, power washing wand that you get with your power washer. And then out the other end, I hook up another one of those 100 foot black hoses with the right connectors. I'm not going into the connectors in this video. And then I have the, the line marked on this one with yellow tape. So, you know, 10 pieces of tape means it's 100 feet. So every 10 feet, there's a piece of tape. So one piece of yellow tape is 10 feet, two is 20 feet, three is 30 feet. I already stuck it in the line there that we're jetting. And I think I made the turn already. It's kind of a tight fit because the way this is set up. So, so anyway, now I'm going to turn on the water and turn on the power washer to get our pressure up. And then we're going to blow that sucker out. I saw a blockage about 35 feet out, uh, about 90% blocked with roots and clay and stuff. We're going to see if we can knock it out of there. And we'll make an after video of the sewer line. I made a before video of the sewer line. Then we'll make an after video. Ah. Start the power washer. It might still be warm. I just used it. 